Hey guys, all right, we have another one here. We have a 2017 Lancer Black Edition with uh, some cool stuff to go in here. So, all right, this is Sammy. Hello. <laughs> you excited for your upgrade? Hell yeah. Yeah? Let's get into it. Yeah? For yeah? Sure. Well, this is uh, Armageddon Day because we've got some cool yeah. stuff to go in. So, we have. Woo! Helix Q12. Got a little Pioneer amp here just to um, run the rears. And uh, a Crescendo yeah. Evo 1A1, which is going to be our 1000 RMS mono block to run our woo, Duffer. So let's get this stuff unboxed and um, have a look at what we've got. Okay, so start getting this stuff unboxed. These are a very, very, very nice sub. Uh, we've done quite a few of these here at the Found and I've been impressed every time. So I figured, well, Sammy loves her music, more than loves her music. So let's make her love it even more. So this one here is called Helix Q12. They are a bit of a hybrid sub. They're sort of designed as a sound quality sub, but um, more of an SQL. They're rated at 1000 RMS, so they will definitely take a fair bit of juice. Oh yeah. Heffy little bit of sub. Mmm. So that's cool. That's to go in to replace what's in here. We'll run through in a minute and um, we'll show you what's already in the car. Um, so as well as that, just a little mini Pioneer 4 channel, which I'm only going to use two channels of just to run the rear speakers so there's a little bit of audio coming from the back. And then our Crescendo A1A. little one and that's going to replace the Kenwood mono block that's already in the car so that's going to go back under the seat so that's what we're doing let's have a look at what's already in here all right so do a quick rundown of what's in here now this system's been in here for a little while um, I've already done a bit of a speaker upgrade on it and twiddled a little a few little things around but the thing that's actually impressed me the most I used to work at JB and I sold this sub to Sammy what would it be eight years ago now eight or nine years ago now. So, not that it's a special sub or anything. The old Pioneer Champ Series. Well and truly done its duty, but he's uh, a little bit floppy now. It's definitely had some better days. So I've got an old JL um, Ho box, which were actually one of the really, really well designed boxes. So uh, in the future, this car will be getting a custom box done course but for now we're gonna try it in the um, the jail box and see how that goes my thought is it's gonna sound pretty damn good so we'll see how that goes so next not that we're gonna be able to see it in here but in these factory positions we do have a set of crescendo opus threes which are a pretty crazy speaker for what they are they definitely take some abuse and they've uh, definitely done Sammy very well so far um, so also, we have Pioneer Hedge Unit in here. Decent unit. And then we've got a couple of amps in here as well. Come around this side. So down underneath here, we have an Alpine 4 channel, which originally this was set up with a set of Alpine R-types up the front. Um, and it was okay, but it wasn't quite doing the job. Uh, so I put the Crescendo Opus 3s in there and um, I've now bridged that amplifier so we're getting all four channels of amp to the front speakers. So doing that meant that I've now run the rears off the head unit, which it works, but it's not great. So now with that little mini Pioneer 4 channel, it just means we're going to get a little bit more juice into the rears and uh, make them actually sound okay instead of distorting as soon as you try and turn them up. So that's that one. now. I'll take you around the other side and we'll see the other end. And as you can see, over this side, we have a Kenwood hiding under this side. Oh, not, not a gigantic fan of um, that wiring there, but that will get sorted out. Because it's me 
and I'll sort it out. So, in saying that, start getting it apart. Extract that doofa. Well, that's definitely done its duty. That has definitely done its duty. And it still works. Well done, Sub. Well done. Now, moment of truth. Will it fit? Oh, it's gonna be tight. Guess what? The sub doesn't fit in the box. I saw it coming, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh, make a couple of spacer rings. Just, it's the depth of the sub that's the issue. It is a big doofer. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make myself up a couple of spacer rings, try and get this thing to fit in the box until um, I can get some time and get the custom box done. So let's get it done. So what I've got here is one of our templates, which is not quite the right size for the Helix Sub. So I'm gonna use one of my step bits, pull him on and um, cut it in a little bit. And see how we go. Should be pretty close. See how that fits. It's a fit. It's good for our frisbee. Yep. <laughs> There's one ring. Go see if it fits. Alright, so those guys that like to do the old rough cut, um, I like to go full send. So, spiral flush in 18, pfft, no worries. Watch this. Hold me beer. I'll get it in there, this will at least get the sub running in, and then uh, I can start designing a box and work out stage two. So I'll get this uh, get this carpet re-glued and back on, and um, get the rings glued, and then we're pretty much ready to drop the sub in the box. So, chill. Cool. Leave that for a couple of minutes to just go off and stick this puppy down. Alright, well, that's been about 
about 15 minutes, so that's going to be well and truly tacked up by now. So I'll get these on. Uh, then I'm going to start carpeting the rings, get the rings in, get the sub mounted, and the box is done. Then we can move on to actually doing the amplifier. So. <laughs> Do you reckon I've done this once before? Uh, just once or twice. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I not say more than that. Nah. That's a ring! Alright, moment of truth. Does it fit? I reckon it will. Oh, 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 oh! Like it was made for it! Funny that! Cool! We can now move on! Moment of truth. It is the moment of truth, and I'm even gonna put the rubber back on here. I have that much confidence. So the rubber stays on? Yep. Yeah, oh, you got to keep the rubber on. You know, always need that extra pressure. Like mini stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see. Does it fit? Uh, that's upside down, but not that it matters. <sighs> that's better. That's better. Much better. Cool. Well, it's not. It's not exactly how I would prefer to do this, but uh, this will definitely work for now until I've got time and I can um, get this custom box worked out. That's going to be fun. That'll be another video. gonna start unbolting this seat so I can get to this amp and then we can uh, start getting the new one in. Do it! Do it now! Yeah, you can do the vacuum. I'm going to go get some sub wire so I can replace that. that vacuum All right, I'll get me some Velcro.
a little bit neater. Definitely a bit neater than it was before. Alright. We should have sound. Do a quick check on our gains. Ba -ba -ba. There's a light. Sweet. Let's put a doof in and make some noise. So this time we've got to get the little four channel put in and get that hooked up to the rears. So show you what we've got sitting here now. There's our four channel that's in here now running the fronts. So this is the wiring that was there from the previous install, which is a pretty decent gauge. Um, and that, that was actually piggybacked up into the back of the head unit itself. So I am going to reuse those for the rears, which are just running the factory wires, but will be fine for what we're doing. Um, so first task is going to be pull this dashboard apart. So I need to get to the back of the head unit and um, start doing some wiring. So I will start pulling apart. It's okay. Your car will be fine. I've done this once or twice now. It's all right. I know this is the bit you don't like. Okay, thanks mate. I'll see how I go. You know, I'm good at making it look like I know what I'm doing. set color codes yep. so uh, it's all a universal sort of color code once you're using adapters and stuff so like this yellow is constant power red is accessory power uh, the greens are rear left speaker the purples are rear right speaker uh, greys are front uh, right speaker whites are front left speaker oh, cool. There you go. Are they to go to the amps or yep. batteries? Yeah, they're the signal wires, so they're the RCAs that actually give the audio signal to the amplifiers. Okay. Yeah. What are these ones for? Um, they're just extras. So you've got um, that that's plugged in there is the camera. Oh, okay. Um, the yellow one, that's the camera. Yep. And then you've got AV input. Is that for video? Yeah, like if you wanted to input video into it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. This is pretty goddamn clean. This is pretty goddamn clean. It's well cleaner than my car, that's for sure. Yeah, it's probably the cleanest thing that I keep though. Well, the car matters. The car matters. You gotta love what you are. Uh, yeah, you, you put a lot of good hard work into owning this car. Mm. You wanna appreciate it. My it's your baby. I have a house of my own, so this is it. It's your baby. It might not be a fast car, but it's a nice little car. Look at that. Yeah, it is. It is definitely a nice car. This is not my work back here, by the way. I um, I would not leave things looking this bad. I'm gonna give it a quick bit of a tidy up in there, uh, but without uh, basically pulling it apart and doing it again, it's not gonna get a hell of a lot better. So, we'll see how we go. Well, these wires are the original wires that had already been run through that were hooked up to the amp. Yep. 
so I can reuse those as the views were hooked up before. So the wires are sitting there, oh, under there, oh, yeah, 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 and then yeah, I can hook yeah. a new amp to the wires that are under there already. So they go through here? Yes. Oh, okay. So the other thing I'm trying to avoid here is the fact that there's been a lot of tuning and stuff done in the head unit. So I don't want to lose every single tuning setting that's in there. Um, so the easiest way to get about that is don't unplug the head unit. Um, that means that it's not going to lose its memory and it's going to hold it there. It just means it makes it a little bit more difficult to work around, but that's fine. I can make it happen and I'm making it happen. So that's all good. Of course I'm difficult. <laughs> no, not at all. Unbolt the seat. Now the scary part. No, that was the scary part. That was actually. It's not even scary, I don't know what you're on about. All right, so here we are. There's our wires that were coming from the front. Obviously, I'm only gonna need to re use our rear ones that are here, those front ones aren't doing anything, and our rear RCAs that are already here. Here's my little Pioneer amp. I've already done a little bit of pre-prep on this, just working out how things are gonna sit. So, um, now, whether I go this side or this side? Big question. Hmm, big decisions. I think I'll go this side. Yeah. Yep, and what I can actually do is the wiring will go back under here and then back under here. I can feed this wiring back this way so I can actually just have it all connect straight in. So it should be pretty neat. Now these things are actually a really low power amp, uh, as you can tell by the fact that we've only got just a standard almost head unit power input. So, bonus of that is I can piggyback onto the wiring that's already going into this amplifier, uh, and that's gonna be more than enough juice to make this amp do its thing. So, makes it a little bit easier for install too, just a little bit convenient. That's fine, let's wire it in. Mounted down together, pretty tidy, nice one. So, uh, see if it works. Quick trip, if uh, you've never bolted a seat back in before, a lot of seats don't have locators. So, the best trick is always to loosely just put your bolts in, in all four corners, make sure that it's all gonna thread in properly. Then once you've got all four in, then go and tighten them up because you'll find that sometimes you'll tighten down two and the rails aren't perfectly square, which means then you can't get the rear bolts in or the front bolts in or whichever ones you haven't actually done yet. So nice little trick.
We're going to make some noise? Yeah, yeah. I don't, know, I don't know which song I want to do first, but... <laughs> it's always a tough one. Uh, Something that's got some nice bass. This does. It's got some heavy. nice bass. I don't know if it's the best quality, but it's got bass. Oh, this one. <laughs> this one. This one? Yeah. Nobody pray for me. Nobody <laughs> pray for me. Job well done, what yes, do you think? Very much so. <laughs> Sweet! Well, let's get this finalized and um get That's her right. out and let her let, let her let her enjoy it. Yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for watching guys. That's another one done and dusted, but there's plenty more to come, so got some cool ones coming up and uh we'll see you soon. Say bye! See you later! <laughs> see you guys. It's dribbling a little. <laughs> oh, that's a clean tip.